Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. So far, we've talked about the first four commandments, and now it's time to tackle the fifth. Thou, Thou shalt, shalt not, not kill. kill. Exodus 20:13. This command seems pretty straightforward at first, until you realize that the word kill, which we use today, is actually not a very good word for describing what's meant by the fifth commandment. The word murder is actually much closer to what was originally meant. In fact, many modern translators recognize this and use the word murder instead to describe this commandment. So, in order to avoid breaking this commandment, we need to know what's meant by murdering and how we can avoid murdering others. Murder is when one person causes the death of a living person, either intentionally or by avoidable negligence, and this is a sin for the simple reason that we can't claim the right to live if we're not willing to respect that right in others. There are, however, some important points that should be made about murderers and the murdered. First, in order for an act to be murder, both the murderer and the murdered person must be people. You're not guilty of murder when you cut off the head of a chicken, nor is a tiger guilty of murder when it pounces on a gazelle. This is one way in which an act can involve killing, but still not be a violation of the fifth commandment. Second, the act of killing can be justified, and even required, in the case of legitimate defense. Defending one's own life, or the life of another, can be sufficient reason to kill. However, even this is not enough reason to actually murder someone, to plan to kill them and then carry that plan out. This is to do with conflict in which one is forced to deal a lethal blow to an aggressor. That's how murder can be identified and what the Fifth Commandment is all about. But it's often hard to see how this commandment applies to specific types of crimes, or whether a certain kind of action can be considered murder at all. That's why we're going to be spending the next several weeks discussing this point. Next week... What about suicide? Is suicide a form of murder? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.